darkness falls across the bar. The midnight hours is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of booze to terrorize your neighborhood. And though you fight to stay alive, your body starts to shiver. No mere mortal can resist the cocktail time and give it possible. <laughs> Hi guys and girls, thank you so much for checking out our channel. I really hope you like Halloween because today we have a Halloween special of cocktail time with your host, Count Kevin. Halloween is celebrated on the night of October 31st, the night before All Saints Day. This night was once known as All Hallows Eve. The tradition of people lighting bonfires and wearing costumes to ward of ghosts originated from an ancient Celtic festival. Over time, Halloween evolved into a day of activities like trick-or-treating, carving jack-o'-lanterns, festive gatherings, watching horror movies, donning costumes and eating treats. And what we'll make today certainly falls into the category of treats. I'll make a Halloween version of the penicillin, which is a modern classic created in the milk and honey bar in New York. The penicillin is an interesting twist on a sour cocktail, using scotch, honey ginger syrup and lemon juice, with a float of Isla single malt scotch to create a smoky sour with a honey ginger cake. In the spirit of Halloween, we'll add pumpkin. And then turn our cocktail black using squid ink. But first, let's prepare some of the ingredients, starting with the garnish. Instead of the typical candied ginger, we'll make some candied pumpkin. Start by peeling and cutting up some pumpkin. I'm using nutmeg pumpkin. Try to cut up equal squares. And once you've got around 250 grams, that should be enough. Place it in a pot and add 10 grams of sliced ginger, which will give the pumpkin a subtle spiciness. The easiest way to peel ginger is using a spoon, and don't worry about getting every last part of the skin, this will be well cooked anyway. Last two things are 20 ml of freshly squeezed lemon juice and a tiny amount of Lapsang Song Chong tea leaves. What's tiny? 0.15 grams. This is a Chinese black tea with tea leaves that were smoked right over a pine wood fire, resulting in an intense smoky aroma. After covering everything with cold water, heat it to a boil and let it gently simmer for 15 minutes. Next, we'll drain everything. Rinse just the pumpkins and put them back in the pot. And no need to waste the ginger. It's still got some kick, so go ahead and make some tea with it. As for our pot, we'll add 150 grams of sugar and water, just before it reaches the top of the pumpkins. Cook this without the lid for another 45 minutes. Then cover and cook for additional 10 minutes, without letting it go over a slow boil. Then it's time to drain our pumpkin squares. Lift to cool a bit, before placing in a food dehydrator for 16 hours at 65 degrees Celsius or 150 Fahrenheit. If you don't have one, you can try using a convention oven and a baking rack. After they are done, take them out and coat them with powdered sugar. And what you end up with? is a perfect trick-or-treat candy for adults. Now, let's make honey ginger pumpkin syrup. If you have any better name for it, let me know in the comments below. Again, start by peeling some nutmeg pumpkin. You can use other pumpkins as well, but the sweetness and the taste of the nutmeg kind works great for this cocktail. And again, get your spoon and peel some ginger. 
Then get the juicer ready and juice the pumpkin and the ginger separately, since we'll need to measure the juices before combining with honey. We will strain both juices so there is no solid particles in our syrup. Pumpkin juice already has some sweetness, so we'll mix 63 grams of pumpkin juice with 5 grams of ginger juice and add that to 100 grams of honey. Mix this until fully incorporated. Again, without heating, just like in the Gold Rush episode. And there's your honey ginger pumpkin Halloween syrup. No, not yet. We still need something to make our cocktail turn black. I first considered using activated charcoal, but after doing some research and looking into some of the side effects of charcoal being ultra absorbent, including binding vitamins and minerals within your system, I decided to use squid ink. Because of its viscosity, we'll mix it with water in a 1 to 1 ratio and place it in a dropper bottle. And now let us begin with the ritual of preparing the cocktail of the evening. Start by chilling the cocktail shaker. In a smaller tin, we'll add our ingredients, starting with 60 ml or 2 ounces of monkey shoulder. If you don't have monkey shoulder, you can use your favorite blended scotch whiskey. Next up, 22.5 ml or 3 quarters of an ounce of our Halloween honey ginger pumpkin syrup. And an equal amount of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Sasha Petraske, who opened the famous milk and honey bar, was known for insisting to always squeeze citrus juice fresh to ensure the best possible cocktail. And lastly, 8 drops of our squid ink mixture. Since this is slightly salty, there is no need for saline solution. And while you can definitely smell and taste some of the ocean aroma, if you try it on its own, this should be subdued in this powerful cocktail. While you shake, ask your faithful helper to bring you a chill glass filled with ice. Halloween is mostly celebrated in the United States and Canada, but certain aspects of the celebration have gained worldwide popularity in recent years. And while there won't be many Halloween parties this year, you can still make a Halloween themed dinner and cocktails for yourself and your family. Legend has it that ice used in Halloween cocktails has ghosts trapped inside them. And when you pour the cocktail over them, they get released to roam the earth once more. To guard ourselves, we'll spray them with Scottish holy water, Isla single malt whiskey. The bubbling will mix the float into the drink, while the spray will keep the aroma without changing the cocktail too much. And finally, the cherry on top, or in this case, candied pumpkin. Perfect. Before I dry this, I have to make a disclaimer. I used dry ice, which can cause serious damage if ingested. You have to make sure it melts completely or that you remove it before drinking. And that's what we'll do, just to play it safe. Please do the same. Now let's give this haunted cocktail a try. Like in the classic penicillin, the first thing that hits your nose and taste buds is the smokiness of the Isla whiskey. It's followed by the pumpkin, which is such an interesting twist and works great with the subtle spicy finish of the ginger. The squid ink gave just enough saltiness to enhance all of those flavors. The dry ice will also chill your cocktail even further, which may reduce the intensity of some of the flavors. That only means that you have a slow sipping cocktail, which will evolve as you enjoy it. This is Halloween in a glass, and when it's time for kids to go trick or treating, it's time for you to treat yourself and try this cocktail. 
We dedicate this episode and this cocktail to the legendary Vincent Price. Our DOP Sasha, who loves Halloween, is his huge fan. I really hope that you'll enjoy this year's Halloween and make sure to watch a lot of horror movies. But before we say goodbye, first off, I need to say thank you to Jean Feli from the Austin Truffles on the Rocks channel for giving me a shout out when he made his version of the homemade coffee liqueur. Take a look. People love to make their coffee liqueur using rum, and I've done mine using vodka. But recently, I've stumbled across a very cool cocktail YouTube channel called Cocktail Time with Kevin Kass, and he made a very nice coffee liqueur recipe using rum. So I'm gonna link it in the description down below. I highly recommend you go and watch it. All his content is spot on. I love this channel. So while you're at it, why not subscribe? It's highly worth it. Thanks for helping our channel grow. It really means a lot. Now it's time for me to give you a cocktail challenge. I know you like clarifications, so I'd like you to make a cocktail with clarified apple juice. I'm sure that with a little patience, you'll find a way to make it crystal clear and use it to make a delicious cocktail with it. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Until then, cheers. Darkness crawls in search of nah. I'll turn back. <laughs> Thanks for watching till the end and for your support so far. If you like this episode, share it with a friend. And as always, 